Now to the happy news. What's your happy news? It's not happy news. The death of Kobe Bryant and his daughter and some other children I guess team and members, parents. Yeah, team the, members and parents yeah. of his daughter. That was on uh, January 26th. That was not a. That was not a. That, that was, was not cool. No, it was actually rather shocking. But I read an article this week that um, he and his wife had consciously made the choice not to fly together. Yep. And it's it, that's it's like that with I know you're gonna hate this, but it's like that with a royal family. They aren't allowed to fly together because of the very same reason. I think I have something negative to say about the royal family. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't everybody? Um, I think everybody should have the right to have a negative opinion about the royal family. Because they're stupid. So anyway, no. I, I was never a Kobe Bryant fan. Me never, either. Never, never. But something that came up that I thought about right after I heard it and then it came up again on the Back of the Theater podcast from a couple days ago, that our expectation of basketball stars is that they grow old. That yeah. all of them grow old. We're Bill Russell is still going to games. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, so he great. was old when I was little. Yeah. I mean, essentially. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those weird things that for that group of sports people that you you watch them sometimes before they get into the NBA, right? Yeah. High school sometimes if they're in your area. But a lot of times you see them at university. Yeah. Kobe wasn't one of those people. But you see them at university. And then you watch their entire career. You watch them come in. Mm-hmm. And go out. I mean, remember, we did that with Jordan. Yeah. We watched him come in and go out. There are lots of people that are like, I think I was alive when Bird and Magic came in. But I do know, remember when they went out. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, the, the in. But the, the, in. But the, the idea of... Not seeing, uh, it's funny, uh, Hunt made this reference because I've thought about it like literally seconds before he says it on the podcast, was Jerry West is still alive and he's the logo for the NBA. Yeah, I've heard somewhere that... <laughs> oh, God. He's still working for the Lakers. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I read this. He's they were talking there. about changing the logo to Kobe and I'm like... Why? Why would they? Well, I mean, it? they need to update the logo. I mean, that logo has been the logo since Jerry West was playing in the league. I mean, come on now. <laughs> I think it's time. I mean, you're talking about black and white basketball now. Okay. Well, that's a long time ago. If you're gonna update your league to to be like, if you're if you're gonna update the the trappings, the marketing of the NBA to make it make it make sense for this globalized version of our world and how it reaches out and all. If you're going to do that, like if you're going to consciously like, yes, we need to update. Well, yeah, okay. Why? I mean, if you picked a player before to be the logo, well, why not pick up another player to be a logo? You can't pick a jump, man. You can't, you can't. And that's the, that's the era that we're in. We're in the Michael Jordan era of the NBA where this is the kind of basketball we're playing. Right. But, you know, why not? Why not anybody? Why not? But the problem is a lot of those stars, they now have their own logos. Whereas back in the day, they didn't have their own logos. Right. They didn't have their own shoes and all that kind of stuff. I mean, endorsement deals would have been for the shoe, not for the guy on the shoe. Right. Um, you just knew, you know, like if you had Converse All Stars, then you would. Our live, I, our live just did a thing, and now, oh, it, ah, Karen, you're close. You're very close. I think we're okay. I, I knew that you should turn off your calls, cause you know it asked for that, but it didn't ask me when Oops. I go. Oh, Sorry. Here we go. It's all falling apart. 
Soon the table's gonna be down there, the liquids are gonna hit the floor, the electrical is gonna go out, and you're gonna, we're gonna disappear. So if all of that happens, because Karen got up, you know Sorry, why. Sorry guys. You know why, Karen got up. It's still, I don't think we're back yet. It, it came up over there. Did it? Your comment did, yeah. We're not moving. Well, I don't know. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Poor live. I see it. It's live now. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, um. So yeah, I don't. I don't see an issue with them trying to update the logo for and using a likeness of any particular anybody. They should probably update it so from being an on the floor game to an above the rim game because the there's two things since I think since the NBA took that Jerry West idea that have come into the game since then that are emblematic of today's NBA mm -hmm. the three pointer mm -hmm. and big dunk so. That being the case, those two things might be the above the rim game as well as the three pointer. Right. And why not have why not use a uh, like a Steph Curry type photo and silhouette them and or you know I I was I think of the Shaq which would be kind of interesting, but the problem is it's already a trademarked thing. His dunking and yeah. then that that pose yeah. or the Michael Jordan dunking and that it, it taking those is going to be like eh, well Michael you know, Jordan not. has the jump man could they use like that that like famous shot where he's got the tongue out like that yes but I, like How I said you do that in a logo that's a silhouette no you can do all of, all of them that are it. silhouettes the, the, I guess my problem is if you took it I, I don't think I don't I don't I don't think it would be received well. I don't I don't yeah, see no. I don't see like taking anything Jordan because he is such a heavy presence. Yeah. That it that wouldn't be the that wouldn't say NBA. It would say Jordan. Yeah. Now, what do you what could you use that would say NBA? Charles right. Barkley. Yeah, but the round <laughs> mound is him. not gonna that I don't what? Getting a rebound? No, I don't. Uh, what would make it NBA and Charles Barkley wouldn't make it NBA. It would. It's. It's some. It's. It's got to be something else. And that. But I, I updating the logo. I think would be smart. All right. Um. So, rest in peace, Kobe. And his daughter. Gianna. Sad. It is kind of weird though that we're not. Like. We're not gonna see Kobe get into the Hall of Fame. No. So, he'll get there. Oh, but, I'm sure he'll get there, but I'm talking about the the actual like the ceremony. Him being and, I there. mean, that that's gonna be a that's gonna be a not great time. Yeah. You know, even though I never did like it. No. Nope. But it's still the. I didn't like him as a player. As a, as, a as a player, I don't care about these people as people. No. I mean, I don't know them. I care about the people that I know. We had a, I, mean, um, I don't know them. One day I was, after dismissal, I was walking back to my classroom and I saw one of the uh, elementary students and he was dressed in purple and gold, literally from head to toe. And two of the American teachers from the primaries said, hey Kobe, and I'm thinking, why would you call this child Kobe? And but it was his name. He was named after Kobe Bryant, and so he was not dressed. The beef, not the beef. No, not the beef. But he was he was dressed in in the Laker. And I thought, if we were in China right now at school, how many of the kids would be dressed in Laker stuff? Probably just about every one of them. Why do you think that? Well, because that there's like a ban on the NBA in China. I don't think they care. The kids don't. What? Care. You think Chinese people don't care? They oh, don't no. care. <gasps> Come on now, we know this. Where are my pearls? 
We know this. The jade beads and, and onyx, dude. Not pearls. Some pearls. These are mine. <laughs> um, no, they don't care. They don't care at all. All right. You, you got anything else? I got funny. I got a funny. All right, let's hear your funny. I wrote down Grammy winners. Who are these people? Right? The only I one I that have I have no idea. The only one I know is Billy Eilish. That's the only one I know, and that's because Keegan likes her. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So, as I'm going down the list of winners, and you're gonna love this because John Williams won another one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kirk Franklin just, won. Did you, does won. he just but have But did Todrick Hall win one? What is that? Oh, God. If, just, this is no, how you who know it's rigged. What is that? Todrick Hall? Yes. He's, he's, an, ar he's an artist. He's a no, singer. Singer. That, Choreographer, okay. actor. Singer. Choreographer. They don't give no, choreographer. He's a singer. Rapper. He's a singer. He's a singer rapper. And he's he's got like, I don't know, what, 12 albums out now? 12? Then I've never heard of his name. Actually, you've heard his music a you're lot. Getting, you're getting a oh, for the love of Pete. I'm going to have to add, answer it. That's not cool. Is it, why, why is it that you can't manage your phone, miss? Hello? Oh, no. Now we're live. Yes, this is Sharon. And Okay. attention on the live I'm we have, sorry we have no idea what you just heard so tell us Please. all right so back to back to the people over here what happened oh she you just asked kind of um so very interestingly as I'm going down the list after the Grammys happened and I'm going down the list and I'm trying to figure out you know who won what and you know I get the Billy thing and she's got a bunch and first time that somebody has won those categories all together, blah, 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 you know, record setting, awesome. Now, I'm going down the list and I start getting to kind of like those Grammys that they don't show on TV. Yeah. Because there's a, there's a, there's a well, giant group a of them of every year. From high yeah, school, yeah, yeah. A friend of mine from high school, her husband is a singer-songwriter and he was up for a Grammy. Right. There's so, the, and, and so she was at the Grammys. But it happens. Like, Michelle Obama won a Grammy. Yeah. For her audio book, right? They, yeah. So, I mean, there's... Win a Grammy for an audio book? Oh, yeah. yeah it's audio. audio. It's just audio. Okay. <coughs> Would you win a Grammy for a podcast? I don't think so. Not yet. I think podcasts have their own awards. award ceremony. Would, would that be in the... It's all audio. Would that be in more like... Okay. You, you, you go research the Grammys. Okay. So... Understand, I'm going down the list and I'm just looking for names I recognize because for the most part, I don't recognize anybody. And that's what I'm saying. I'm playing a game called, hey, I know that old person. <laughs> oh God. Because I, I literally am going down and it's like, John Williams, I know that person, you know? And I'm, Kirk Franklin, I know that person. And, you know, it's like, what in the world is going on here? If you. Want to find the Traveling Fars? You can find us on the YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, iTunes, Spotify, and the Google Podcasts. This time last year, there was no Google Podcast to talk about. Interesting. Thought that was funny. Uh, we are the Traveling Fars. If you like the Instagram or the Twitters, Traveling Fars. If you like the email, travelingfars at gmail.com. And the blog space, thetravelingfars.blueberry.net. No ease in the blueberry. <gasps> All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Say goodbye to people. Hi, people. Now you're you going to go, go stop your thing? You have to do it. Oh, because you can't maneuver yourself over there with the terribleness of cords and cables. It's just safer that way. It's safer that way.
Yeah. Peace. Bye.